welcome to today's edition of Tales from the VHS Vault. What are we drinking today, my friend? We are drinking the Resonator. It's a bohemian-style pilsner. And it tastes and smells fucking great. <laughs> if you want the recipe, click the link above our heads. What Christmas isn't complete without a little bit of Ernest? Ernest Saves Christmas, particularly, we are going to feature today. This one harks back to when we were kids. Of course. Uh, and, yeah. you know, I hope for a lot of you it has as well. I mean, it came out in, what, 88? It's like, one of my favorite uh, Christmas movies. You have to watch yeah. Ernest Saves Christmas at Christmas time. Yeah, and I never actually owned it on VHS, but I had a bootleg <laughs> that I had taped off of when I rented it. You know, you have the two VCRs. Oh, you did that whole you thing. Make the copy. Yeah. I yeah. just taped it off TV. Yeah. <laughs> what station did you tape it off? Do you remember? Oh, Channel Five, maybe or something. <laughs> Channel. Five. <laughs> Whatever that means. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that was so long ago. From the start yeah. of the movie, like yeah. when he's driving that poor bastard to the airport. Yeah. And then he's just like, <laughs> and he scares the guy stiff. Yeah. <laughs> When he's trying to get the guy added out of the cab at the airport, and he's all Ooh. stiff, and he's hitting his head against that. <laughs> when he goes to pull out his luggage in the trunk, and he <laughs> and <all> tears <laughs> open. <laughs> tears his luggage all to shreds, and all that canned food and everything. Yeah. So <laughs> Why the guy would have canned food, yeah. I don't know, but... Oh, oh fuck. Oh, little tree! <laughs> And then he like, ah. uh, yeah, oh, they really bunch up at this exit. Know what I mean? He throws that Christmas tree through the window. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and when he goes to Vern's house and starts destroying <laughs> the poor Vern's house, ripping all that cabling out of the wall. <laughs> yeah. And then, ooh, party, party punch. punch. Drinks right out of the bowl with his lips. And yeah, the Christmas tree all comes down on him while he's holding that yeah. whole bowl. Funny that um, we just covered Silent Night, Deadly Night. Mm. And the working title for that movie was A Christmas Slay. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. And in Ernest Saves Christmas, they're filming in the movie... A movie, a horror movie called A, a Christmas, Christmas Slay. Slay. Yeah. Die, you, you son, son of a... a... Son of a... What's one thing I liked about the movie besides the fact it's funny as hell? The character of Ernest, how childish he is, really works with the Christmas theme. Yeah. Yeah, because it's Cause innocent. Let's face, let's face it, right? Christmas is for kids. Yeah. And uh, it just works. Like, yeah, yeah, how innocent he is. It works with the whole Christmas theme and... Yeah, yeah, he's so optimistic, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, everything will work out, you know. And no, this guy is Santa, yeah. you know. He's, he's he is Santa Claus. He's saying that the whole movie, yeah. and it turns out that he's correct, right? Yeah. I like that whole idea of passing the Santa Claus duty in the Santa Claus name to somebody else, right? I somebody that, younger. And... Yeah, I thought that was always a neat idea. Mm -hmm. And there's the moral to this yeah. movie too, right? Which is really awesome. You know, it's, you know, that Harmony star, yeah. she's like some kind of badass kid. And the more they go through the movie, the more she realizes what she's doing. Yeah. And, you know, and sort of comes to the realization that uh, she's hurting other people doing, yeah. acting like that. And it's great. It's a great moral. Yeah. You know, it kind of the, I like the idea of like this, the, the the current guy who's playing Santa has been doing it for so long, and again <laughs> like when you watch movies about you know some people who live forever they just want to die. <laughs> it's kind of like that that Santa like he just right. like okay I've done this long enough it's time to become mortal again it's time to die. Right. You know? yeah. <laughs> and done with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's one of those movies that we quote often. <laughs> Want a steak for your boy? <laughs> I bought one for my boy last year. <laughs> you the snake guy? Uh, yeah. All right, boys, dump them in. They dump all those snakes. The real right? snakes, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get them all. Roll up! <laughs> yeah, Santa's all oh, scared. Shit. When he puts his hands down on that <laughs> griddle. 
<laughs> I like lots and lots of butter with mine. <laughs> with that butter on its burned hands. I think it's one of those movies that like we had a phase where it wasn't even Christmas time, but and we really got obsessed with this movie because we just found it so funny at yep. the time. Yeah. And then it became after that. A Christmas movie. Yeah, because you see it so many times. Yeah. It's like, okay, yeah. just watch it once a year yeah. and that's good enough, you know. Yeah. Rest in peace, Jim Varney. Yeah. You'll forever be remembered as that lovable big kid, Ernest P. Whirl. Yeah, Christmas will never be the same without you. Hey!